Well, tech billionaire Elon Musk has finalised his deal to purchase Twitter, appointing himself Chief Twit. Joining me now to discuss what this will mean in particular for you out there just using Twitter is Dr Jenny Davis, a sociologist at ANU, a particular focus in technology. Thanks for your time. We're a bit brief on time today, given the things that have happened this hour. What's going to change from what we, we've heard Elon Musk say so far? He's already cleaning out the executive team, but how much will, will Twitter change for the user? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think one thing to point out is that so far, Musk has said that he'll be convening a content moderation panel. And until that happens, nothing will change for the users in terms of rules, policies, and practices. Afterwards, though, um, I think we'll have to kind of see what that panel suggests, who makes it up, and then what they decide to do going forward. I think things could dramatically change for users after that, but so far, actually, policies and practices are the same. So I guess, yeah, part of it's a little bit of an unknown, but he's spoken about having a, a free digital town square, and his hint has been more freedom to be able to express what people want. How that actually shows up will be interesting because, you know, it can't be no holds barred on Twitter because you can already see some of the stuff people say anywhere. anyway. What do you think he will be sort of letting loose? Yeah, well, so he said sort of two things. So he's said for a long time that he's a free speech absolutist, so he's very committed to this ideal of freedom of expression and has been vocal in opposition to um, the regulatory mechanisms that Twitter has put in place. At the same time, he's also sort of put out this public letter to advertisers saying, hey, I'm not going to make it a hellscape, right? So he's kind of dialed some of that back um, relatively quickly. What it looks like he might do, and I'm just sort of saying this based on what I know of what he said in the past, but also this open letter that he's released, is that his strategy will be um, about personalized content moderation and curation. So right now, Twitter has these kind of high-level uh, ways of uh, regulating um, misinformation, disinformation, hate speech, et cetera. I think what Musk is going to do from what he said is going to put in more kinds of personalized controls so that it's uh, less about stopping that kind of speech from happening and more about right. giving people the tools to um, regulate it themselves. Whether or not uh, that's an effective strategy is open for question. I'm certainly not it's, convinced that it it's is. It's an yeah, interesting one, I guess. So if you don't mind, whatever you want to call it, more upfront content, you'll see it. Maybe if you don't, you won't. Just finally and briefly, what about economically? $44 billion US he's paid for this. Basically, nobody thinks the company's worth that much. So does it enter a sort of a debt death spiral almost? Is that a prospect? Uh, yeah, possibly. I mean, I think I think it was a bad deal when he when he made it, and I think Musk knew that. And I think that's the you know though he said that the reason he tried to pull out was to do primarily with bots and spam. I think everybody kind of saw through that really easily and understood that he was pulling out because it was a bad deal, and it still is one. Um, I think Musk was essentially buying political ideology and power in doing so. But economically, how the platform will do is an open yeah. question, especially with mass exodus of kind of loyal Twitter users who okay. are concerned about the direction that'll take it. We'll see. It's fascinating, if nothing else. Jenny Davis, thank you for your time today.